Hello everyone. I can see we have some folks that have already joined in. Whoops, hold on, I'm plugging my phone in. I'm hoping it doesn't get all wonky. Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I had to look at my watch. It is in fact Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm gonna wait a moment for everyone to join in. Let me judge this a little bit so that it is straight on the camera. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Whoops, that made it worse. Or did that make it better? I don't know. Moving some things out of the way. So, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in this evening. I appreciate all of you being here. Um, so, first and foremost, wait, hold on. This is going to drive me bananas. It's because of my, hold on, let me fix this. My, um power cable. I have all these cables that are hanging down and my power cable to my phone is like, well, it's driving me nuts. So hello, 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 everyone. First and foremost, before we get started, I just want to speak heart to heart with all of you guys. Oh, I'm so excited, Chrissy. Um, I want to speak heart to heart with everybody because I was watching back one of the lives. Um, I think it was two days ago. And um, <clears throat> I was it's it's hard for to see the comments because the comments happen so quickly but I just want to say thank you thank you thank you for being so good to one another and I say this with my whole heart because um I don't again get to see the comments all the time and you guys know that I say be good to one another after every video uh because we're all that we have and the family that you guys have created is just overwhelming to me. I mean, you guys ask how each other are doing. You you know what's going on in each other's lives. And I mean, I am so, so incredibly blessed and fortunate to be a part of this family. And I just wanted to thank all of you for taking such an interest in one another and for being so good to one another. And it's something that, you know, when, when I created Brutus Monroe, and created um, this community, it's something that I had always hoped for and something that I had always dreamed for. And I'm so excited that um, it's real life. So thank you for making me the luckiest man in the world by letting me do what I love every single day. And thank you for being so wonderful to one another. And thank you for um, just being a part of this family. Hi, Beth. Um, it's just awesome. Oh, awesome, Eliza. Eliza. I hope you love them. So thank you for being so good to one another. Thank you so much for the love and for this incredible, incredible, passionate community that we have built. And um, you guys rock my world. So that's all I wanted to say. We'll get into all of the other goodies. I didn't want to get too mushy tonight, but I was just so taken back. And I was telling Heather this earlier today by how incredible you guys are to one another. And it just, oh my goodness, are you guys amazing. And the, it's just, it's, it's overwhelming when I watched the video the other day and I said, what an incredible, incredible group of people. And you're just, I mean, just awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for being a part of my life and thank you for, um, for making my life awesome every single day. I can't wait to come home to the studio. Um, I'll tell you right now, tonight the studio is about four degrees. <laughs> so I'm so excited to be talking about spring tonight. Um, but we are, uh, you know, so fortunate to have one another. And like I always say, be good to one another because we're all that we have. And you guys have taken that to heart. And I just, I mean, it just, it gets me every time. So let's go ahead and get into... First and foremost, I know all of you guys are dying to see what the embossing powder of the month and the glitter glaze of the month is. Is that something you guys are interested in? <laughs> because I know that we have had an overwhelming response um, from folks because you wanted to know and you wanted to know right now <laughs> what the embossing powder of the month is and what the glitter glaze of the month is. And I gave you guys a um, a sneak peek. I'm grabbing my piece myself a piece of um, lunch bag cardstock. 
And um, let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. And we'll start with the embossing powder. So, oh my goodness, you guys. So I told you guys that we were focusing this month on the Pantone color of the month. I'm obsessed with the Pantone color of the month. It is called Coral. And I'll tell you right now, Miss um, Lisa hit the nail on the head. So let me introduce you to Coral Reef. So here is what, um, the link should be, is the link not down below? Is it not showing up? Here is Coral Reef. Look at that color. Hello, Nora's Little Nut Farm. I love that name. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it is a color that is, I mean, it is just so incredible. I actually put the link up before we got started tonight. So it should be there, hopefully. So there is the coral. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to emboss that out. Don't you worry. And then the glitter glaze is called sparkling coral. So let's go ahead and take a look. Look at these two side by side. I mean, if you don't want to make every single project you possibly can with these two things, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> these are, I mean, they are beautiful together. Now, of course, as we always do, I'm going to, tonight, I'm going to go ahead and um, zhuzh this out for you so you can see what it is going to look like. We'll do that towards the end, and then tomorrow I will show you what it looks like dry it's so incredibly pretty. But first and foremost, the first order of business, we're going to go ahead and we're going to emboss some of this out because this is out of this world, like cucaracha, so incredibly gorgeous, and I couldn't wait to share it with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to grab a foam from my blender board. Um, you'll be able to ex order extra next month. Next month. I'm gonna grab from my blender board a clean blender. And this is the way I've been doing my swatches lately and I'm kind of in love with it. So let me move my blender board out of the way. So many of you guys have gotten the blender boards and I think you guys are gonna love them. To the point where we had to um, make so many more of them today that it's it's just been crazy. And don't you worry, we're, we're rocking and rolling. We are going to make as many as you need us to make. Don't you worry. But it was, um, you know, there was an overwhelming responses. Um, they are sh uh, scheduled to ship on Friday. We're shipping them really early this month. So Friday or Monday. There's going to be two different waves. Okay? That's our plan. Oh, my goodness. Speak, speak to me. Speak to me in all of the the gorgeous, the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous language, language, Luisana. Did you see that? Luisana, I remembered. And I mean, I'll tell you right now, it has, whoops, I'll tell you right now, it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that this is up, um, posted on my wall. <laughs> you guys remember, I made myself a treat sheet, cheat sheet the other night. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to daub down a little circle here. And I'm going to grab myself a, let's see here, Luisana. I told you. I've got it. Got it. All right. So I'm going to grab, yes, if you order tonight, Roberta, these are the colors. So let me go ahead and add on here. I should. <laughs> I really should. Oh my goodness gracious. I cannot wait until you see this. I'm going to have to dab it again because I put a lot of embossing, embossing ink on there. All right. Can't wait to share with you the Shining Shimmering Splendid. Now, just as a heads up, these powders do have cosmetic grade mica in them. So what that means is, do you see the little comet tail here? That's what I call it. Affectionately, I call it a comet's tail. This will come off after you emboss, or you can just judge it like this. It will come off after you emboss it. So don't worry. It's not going to hurt anything. It's because we use the cosmetic grade um, 
micas if you want to throw a little bit of this on your cheek for a little rouge you can do that too but it is cosmetic so let's go ahead and um penny we are working on it the lasers have just been running so crazily that we haven't had a chance yet to add those but we will okay so now this is when the magic happens Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So it's going to look kind of clear because we did it on a, um, <clears throat> see, this all, the tail just comes right off. But there you go. So I'm hoping that the light is going to pick up the luster. It is so luxurious. Oh, did you see it? Did it catch it? <laughs> I hope it caught it. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, so, 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 so pretty. Now I'm gonna emboss it on some white. Let me grab, I'm just gonna tear off a little piece of this here from what we did yesterday. So I can show you what that's gonna look like. Hello, hello, hello everyone. I see a lot of people are already getting the surprise before I can even show you the surprise. <laughs> before I can even show you the surprise. Oh, I could do it on darker paper. Um, how dark are we talking? Can I get away with doing it on slate? Can I do it on slate? Will that be okay? Because I don't have any rave in here. I don't have any black paper. Um, I keep forgetting to bring black paper home. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't have any, but I can promise to bring some home tomorrow. I don't think I have any midnight either. I'll do it on um I'll do it on the slate so you can see it though, is that if that helps. Um I have this. Well, I can do it on this one. That's darker. We'll try that. I think that'll work. <laughs> I know, I know, because I use the black paper. That's like the first thing I always use up. So that's why. Oh my goodness, you guys. This color, when you use this on like a, oh my goodness. When you use this on like, I think of like this, I want to use this on like wedding cards and bridal cards and, well, I want to use it on everything really. No, I'm going to do it on this dark blue because I think that'll help. Oh, good luck, Heather. Many have tried, and most have failed. <laughs> um, how close are we? I don't know. I'd have to look. I know we were getting closer and closer. So there's what it looks like on white paper. Oh, my goodness gracious. I have about six of everything, Roberta. I just can't find it. <laughs> yeah, Heather organized my studio at the old office. Thank you, Michael. Did you see Michael? He's got my back. So there's that. So let me show you it on here. Because I think the blue will definitely, definitely show you some magical. I do need a little bit of everything. Okay. Okie dokie. And plus, this isn't like literally the best way for me to swatch it for you, but I think you guys get the point. I mean, I promise you it's going to be real purdy. <laughs> real, real purdy. All right. So let me grab my, what was this? I don't know what this is. My scrap paper. So I'll show you what it looks like. And see, you can tell that there's more ink towards the outside so that happened remember do not be concerned with the comet tail all you have to do is grab yourself a little swiffer cloth or a paper towel and it will come off it's because we use like i said cosmetic grade micas which are super 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 ultra 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 fine ultra fine 
and they have a tendency to stick a little bit, but no big deal. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. That is incredible. So it looks almost clear, but look what happens when the light hits it. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. It almost looks like it's color shift. Holy cow. That is crazy. I can't wait to try it on black, but that is insane. Look at that, you guys. Holy cannoli guacamole. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, so are you ready to see what I have up my sleeves? Because <laughs> you know I have something up my sleeves. I always have something up my sleeves. And I'm trying to wish spring, wish spring to happen. <clears throat> so I have a couple of things, just a couple of little things that I want to share with you. And you guys know that I love a good set of new items. And these ones are really whistle-worthy. I'm going to tell you. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Because spring <clears throat> is definitely in the air at Brutus and Row. So, what would you like to see first? The new spring aqua... Oh, I shifted. Hold on. What's happening here? The new spring aqua pigment collection. Would you like to see the stencil and glitter glaze kit, the spring one? Or would you like to see the spring embossing powder collection? Or perhaps the two new woodcuts? What would you like to see first? I love how Dee just said yes. <laughs> Does that mean you want to see everything, Dee? <laughs> I'm thinking that that means you, want, you just want to see everything. Is that correct? <laughs> would that be an accurate statement? <laughs> okay, so we will start with the wood pieces because those are um, on top and then we'll move on. So I know, Michael, that you got you had ones that were Christopher proof um, that already had the things ripped off of them, but I am terrible and couldn't find them today. So I have ones that have the things on them. Um, and I know Michael's saying right now. <laughs> so when you get your little tins, they come in the tins, and I love that they come in the tins. And they are going to have shrink wrap around them so that they don't fall out in your package. And I want to show you, because these, I mean, these little pieces, my goodness. Looking at your thumbnail, I made a color close to the purple. Oh, awesome. I love that. And Michael, exactly what you said was going to happen is happening. I'm struggling to get it off there. So here we go. So let's start with the um, spring showers. <clears throat> I know, and I love these little pieces that you get. So in the spring showers, you get some little um, clouds. You get what we affectionately call the Bruce Monroe bunny butts. Look at those bunny butts. You are going to get some rainbows. All right, I'm just gonna have to take this whole thing out because you get a lot of pieces. You get a little chubby bunny. Look at that chubby bunny. I know. <laughs> Another rainbow. Look at this little tiny chick. Hold on, let me grab the other chick. And these will look so cute. So cute on your cards. Another little, oh, there's two little tiny chicks. I designed these so long ago, you guys, that I can't remember what is in here. Okay, and I dropped my other little tiny chick, but that's okay. Um, and then there are two butterflies. And two more bunny butts. Oh, wait, I'm going off the screen. Hold on. Two more little bunny butts. Aren't they just the cutest? I love them. I, Michael, I forgot to bring home the ones that you had already taken the shrink wrap off so that I don't um, mess up. And 
I didn't bring those ones home. <laughs> so I just fumbled, just like you said that I would. Okay, so there's those. And I love the packaging. You guys know that I'm a sucker, and so is my entire staff. We all are obsessed with packaging. So, oh, and also, just so you know, this, how it looks like it's burned, that's a lie. That's not, a, that's not real. The, um, you can take that paper off. This has a protective paper on it for when we actually, because we actually laser cut these ourselves. So this paper you can take right off and it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So there's the first set. Then the second set, I see my bunny's butt right now. He's looking at, oh my goodness, that's so cute. <gasps> I love that you have a bunny named Casper. Then we have the elegant eggs. And look at how pretty these are, you guys. I can just imagine putting these in a little basket. And these ones are a little bit bigger. So that's why there's not as many of them. Uh, the, the price point as well as how many are in the thing are based upon the size of them. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yeah, you can glitter glaze them before you remove the paper and it will go into all the little crevices. Oh, I just love those. So those ones are the elegant eggs. Let me go ahead and put those back in here. Okay. And then we have, let me put these to the side. Let's put these back in my bag. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so now we're gonna do the aqua pigments. We are doing the aqua pigment colors. Because I see, I see everyone's asking about them. So, there are three, and wait till you see how beautiful they are. I mean, it doesn't get much prettier than this. These are our new spring aqua pigment colors. Look at that. Hi, Carrie. Oh my goodness. Um, we are, we just ordered them. I believe Michael just ordered them. So these are the three, and this one is called Peep. This one is called Raindrop, and this one is called Basket Grass because I love the basket grass. Um, I love the purple basket grass. You guys might love other colors of purple basket grass. And of course, I love the label on these. They have beautiful daisies on the background. So if you are a collector of the aqua pigments, we now are putting a cap on the seasonal aqua pigments. Hi, Jerry, just so you guys know. There is a cap going on these products. Before we would just make a gajillion of them. Now there is a cap. We are only making a hundred of each of them. And then that is it. So the seasonal packs, if you are a collector of the Brutus Renro Aqua Pigments, you have one of those cute little stands, make sure you grab them because when they are gone, they are gone, okay? So I'm gonna show you now what they look like swatched out because my dear Lisa, who is our product development manager, she swatched them out for us. Look at what these colors look like. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I mean, I could stare at these all darn day. Literally all day. Look, oh my, I can't. I can't say enough about them. I literally can't say enough about them. I'm just gonna set those there for you to look at because I have to go and grab, I forgot to grab my water brush. So talk about yourselves for a moment. Actually cancel that. I don't know. I don't think I brought my water brush home, but that's okay. We don't need it. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So those are the new aqua pigments. So let me move those to the side. Then we have, okay, you guys. All right. Brace yourselves because the embossing powders, because we make them in house now, match perfectly look 
I can't even, you guys. I can't even. They match the aqua pigments perfectly for the first time ever. So let's go ahead and pop these out. And of course, I already have these embossed too. So we have, and these ones don't have names, but as always, the glitter will always have a glitter label on it. So you know which one is a glitter. So first we have this beautiful, beautiful purple. And this one matches the basket grass. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, then we have the blue that matches the raindrop perfectly. <laughs> Luisana, that's fabulous. <laughs> Asking for a friend. She is just... A... Have you guys seen what um, Luisana's been doing with the that stamp club stamp? My goodness gracious, great balls of fire. For $5 a month, you can make, I mean, she's made at least five cards. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Gorgeous cards. Then we have the beautiful, beautiful one that matches Peep. Isn't that gorgeous? And then wait until you guys see this glitter. Okay, so hold on. I need to show you, hold on. Um, If you go to... I know, I'm so proud of myself, Luisana. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so uh, the you can see them at the Brutus Monroe, um, the Brutus Monroe Facebook page, but soon enough, you are going to be able to see them featured as the banner on our website. And then wait till you guys see this glitter. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Look, if this glitter does not scream spring and Easter, I don't know what does. When Lisa brought this up to my office, I about passed out. I said, I'm going to need for you to make sure that I get an entire vat of that. I'm going to need this entire, I'm going to need a whole vat of that glitter. So make sure you, you know, put it in all the little jars. But I'm going to need you to make sure that I have like a pound of it, if it's possible. Oh, Tracy, it's funny you would mention birthstones. You are going to... Um, you're going to see something. Um, the stamp set, um, the stamp is not sold out for the month yet. Nope. Yes, I need a Gigunda one. Absolutely, D. You're speaking my language. <laughs> so, of course, also, um, these are going to come in the um, limited edition, commemorative, whatever you want to call it, um, packaging. So, each one of these are going to come in the spring packaging. And, of course, all the spring packaging matches. You guys are going to see something really cool come um, from Brutus Monroe soon that involves birthstones. I can't tell you anything else, but I can tell you I think you guys are going to really love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pop that guy in there. Oh. Um, yeah, Jerry. I mean, that's what I, that's what I do. <laughs> Which means next month I'm going to be splurging a lot. So now, last but not least, and I can't wait to share with you, I cannot wait to share with you the stencils in here because I had so much fun designing these stencils that are in this kit that I just, I just can't wait for you to see them. Um, none of this can be purchased individually. Um, it's always sold in a set, Polly. They're always sold in a set. And of course, you don't have to get all of the pieces together. This, I mean, think might be my favorite one. And I'm really excited about the birthday one next month, but, oh. All right, so let's go. Oh, oh my goodness, hold on. And remember, in the Glitter Glaze, in the Glitter Glaze of, um, the Glitter Glaze collections, you always receive full-size Glitter Glazes. This is very, very, very important. Listen up. You get full-size glitter glazes in this kit. So, first, let's start with Sunshine. And I do have these swatched out already. They're already dry. Oh, wait. I forgot to show you this. This is what... Hello, Tracy. This is what the embossing powders look like embossed out. They have shining, shimmering splendor. Um, Fatima, I believe they should be here Friday. I think. They might be here tomorrow. 
I don't know. We have to check the tracking. I know she's yelling at me. She always yells at me. But she's off tomorrow, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I sure can. I mean, if that's not a dead-on match, I don't know what is. <laughs> and they're a dead-on match because we make them in-house. So they will always match perfectly. Isn't it? Hard to tell them apart. This one is the aqua pigments. And the aqua pigments you can paint. But obviously you cannot paint with embossing powders. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, yes, a perfect match. So now let's talk about the glitter glazes. So first and foremost, we have Sunshine. There are subscription discounts, but only on the aqua pigments. There's never a subscription discount on the embossing collection or the glitter glazes um, because, they're, um, because of the manufacturing process. Christopher, is your company... Oh, what were you... I don't know. Did you say something, Polly? I must have missed it. Oh, you're anti-purple. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of folks that love purple. <laughs> so uh, we I, I don't really like pink, but we got pink. Hold on. <laughs> you can't paint with the bossy powders. Hold right there. I if anybody can, it would be you, Lou E. Sana. Okay. So first and foremost, we have Sunshine, and Sunshine is a, look at that perfect dollop of daisy that came right up off of there. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. So the beautiful part of um, the um, glitter glazes is that they are just absolutely stunning. They are just like a, I'll hold this upside down. They are just like a blizzard. So you can hold it upside down. You can see? It's not going to fall out. Um, they are a great, wonderful consistency. They are like the consistency of, um, of like, mayonnaise. D yeah, don't eat it. So this is Sunshine, which is the first color. And I will show you what they look like swatched out because they get much more intense. Um, is that 25? Oh, Heather can help you. Oh, I thought you were talking about the purple, Polly. Um, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, but Heather, she, she, I mean, my staff is really who runs me. <laughs> my, uh, my staff really just keeps me together, really. Um, so then we have Sky. Look at that. And of course, I'll show you what they look like um, swatched out. So there is Sky. Then we have Blossom which is probably one of my favorites. There is Blossom. Then we have, wait till you see it swatched out, Tracy. Then we have Tulip. Oh, they're just so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so now let me show you what they look like, <clears throat> excuse me, swatched out. Sorry, I had to take a little sip of my drink. So this one is the sunshine. See how intense they get? Oh, that makes sense, Polly. So they're much more intense when they're actually swatched out. That's the thing that I think a lot of people um, don't understand about the glitter glazes is that it is... Um, <laughs> Peggy said I thought it was the only color. That's so funny. So this is what they look like swatched out. So this is the sunshine. This is sky. This is blossom. And this one is tulip. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh my goodness gracious, look at how they sparkle. Just so, so incredibly pretty. Love it. And I know you're going to love these swatched out too. So incredibly pretty. So now let's move on to the stencils, because the stencils are important, right? 
Okay. Yeah, do you see... Gyps is in the Witness Protection Program. Under her other name. She's under her pen name. Okay, so let me see here. We're going to do these on the... Oh, well, no, that's a terrible idea, Christopher. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some of a color that doesn't kind of match it, Christopher Allen, my goodness. Um, so let's use some slate cardstock. So this is the first stencil. So it is all sorts of different flowers, which, of course, you're going to be able to use with... Um, you know, I mean, obviously, use your glitter glazes and do all sorts of different flowers. I mean, goodness gracious, I think this is going to be just so incredibly stunning. So there's the first one. Then the second one is kind of my favorite, but it's really hard to pick a favorite of, obviously. So these are, and I love the way these look whenever they're actually, um, when they're actually glitter glazed. And of course, you know, we'll glitter glaze them in the, the stencil is made of um, 0 0.20 inch um, chipboard. They are made out of chipboard. And the only way we can give you full size, um, glitter glazes is if we did them out of chipboard. Um, if we did them out of regular mylar, we'd have to give you little glitter glazes. So the way this works is these eggs, you glitter glaze these first, and then this little bed of, um, grass fits perfectly underneath of it. Oh, this would make a good three-eyed monster. I didn't even think about that. This could be a Halloween face. Hi, Marie. This might come right on back as a Halloween face. So don't you don't you guys judge me. If you see this come back as a monster, you never saw this before. <laughs> but yeah, I had to separate them pretty far because I didn't want you to not be able to glitter glaze these and then glitter glaze this separately. That was the thing. So I could show you. Let me show you with a pencil. So you do the. Oh, you're not going to be able to see that. What the heck? So you basically. You're going to just line up the bottom of your eggs. Well, I guess you can kind of see it. with the grass. See, I'm doing ASMR. And then you can see how they look like they are on a bed of grass. Can you kind of see that? Okay, good. And then we have a bunny because of course, you know, I had to give you a bunny for, for spring and Easter. Love this little bunny rabbit. A nest, yes. Cute little bunny rabbit. And then last but not least, probably my favorite out of all the stencils um, that come in this kit, you get two eggs and then you get the decorations for the eggs. Isn't that fun? So I've designed these so that you get the two eggs and then I've perfectly created the decoration, so you don't have to worry about it, to put on the eggs. Now remember, you can use these stencils as a, um, as a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? As a um, blender, or you can use them, they would be good for Christmas ornaments, or you can use them with glitter glaze. You can use them however you would like. Um, I didn't do a lamb. No, Polly. It's just these four. Yes, that's a great idea. Maybe we'll try that. Should we try that? Oh, no. Wait before I make any promises to make sure I have a palette knife. Look at me making promises that I can't keep. <laughs> I told you guys, I cleaned up in here, and now I can't find a darn thing. Oh, found one. Ha-ha! Woo, that's been used within an inch of its life. Hold on one second. Um, no, there's no peep, and because I did the peep, um, I did the peep. Did you see yet, and the peep, um, simple blend? 
that I used last night. Oh yeah, you could yeah for Passover. Um, you could do. I mean the flowers. Actually, you know what, Gyps, we could probably do some Passover stuff. I just need educated. I just need educated. Um, yeah, the simple blend yesterday. Yep. I just need educated on like what Passover colors would be or what some things I could design for Passover because we did do the Hanukkah set. Um in uh, December, and it went really, really, really well. So I would love to do some Passover stuff. I just need educated on it. Perfect, Gyps. Aren't they pretty? I love them. I am all about, 100%, all about, um, I, I found a knife, um, all about designing for everyone. I just need to be educated on it, that's all. I found one. Okay, so let's, ow! My goodness, I just stabbed myself with the stencil. All right, so let's move this to the side and let's grab from my blender swatch board, which has been literally, and I'm not only using it this week because it's brand new, I'm telling you right now, Michael has come up with something in, ingenious because I reach for this, it's like the best thing ever because I can always find what I need. And I mean, I didn't know that I needed it, but I'm just like you guys. I mean, sometimes you don't know you need it until you get it. <laughs> awesome, Polly. Yeah, just email um, info at brutusmonroe.com and I'll um, take a look at all of those messages. And um, yeah, I would love educated on it because I would I want to design for everybody. Like I said, it's just I don't know enough about a lot of things to design for everyone. So, but I'm all ears, 100% all ears. All right, so I'm so glad that I'm using Brutus Monroe. Nope, that is Friday, Jerry. I do too, Robin. All right, so we're going to do some rouge on these two eggs. And then you guys can help me pick the glitter glaze. Okay. And I'm going to be kind of gentle on the edges because I wanted to kind of give the appearance that it is softer on the edges. So it's kind of rounded, if that makes sense. Now, the big reveal is Friday. Tomorrow, remember, is the aqua pigment. And I can tell you what the color name of the aqua pigment is, but I can't show you it yet. I can't show you it yet. Do you guys want to know the name? Courtney really loved the name this month, and I was nervous that she wasn't going to like it. <clears throat> Good night, D. Love you to pieces, my friend. All right. Nighty night. All right, so now let's do... Um, I'm thinking on the first one, we will do some tulip glitter glaze. Okay, and this just fits right on top of it. When you do, when you see full color in there, that means you're good. Okay, now we lift it off. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I oh my goodness, I, I, I know I shouldn't get that excited. I shouldn't get that excited, right? Look at that. <gasps> oh my goodness. I know I'm not supposed to get that excited, but I did. I did. I, sh I sure did. I sure did. Because, I mean, the thing is, I haven't seen these in action yet. So, I have not seen, like, I see a lot of this stuff when you guys see it. Um, 
Um, you don't clean them, Tina. You just keep on using them till you can't use them no more. And then um, you use them on your project. They are considered disposable, but you can use them over and over and over again. And then what you do is you will um, use this later as your actual project. So what I would do is I would probably like cut this down the center and then layer this on top. It's just bright because of the... Um, Benson is trying to get into the craft room right now, and I'm not letting him in. I am not letting him in because he will be loud. All right, so I'm going to cut my stencil because obviously when you're doing this, you probably are not going to, you're probably going to do them at the same time, which I didn't, but you can cut the stencils. I mean, they're just um, chipboard. Oh, did it work? Good. Okay. So let's go ahead and now we're going to use some of the sunshine. Oh my goodness, Tracy. Yeah, my accountant um, is doing all of our stuff right now. God bless her. Well, her and him, we have two accountants. All right. Go ahead and clean that guy off. Benson is a cutie, but he, he gets into things. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Oh, my goodness. I'm almost thinking that we should release them as regular stencils, too. Would that make sense? I mean, obviously, the chipboard you get in this set, but I almost feel like we need to release them as a regular stencil set, too. Would you guys like that? I think we need to release them as a stencil set. I mean, what do you guys think by a show of hands? Is that a good idea? Oh my goodness, Polly, I love that. I'm surprised because I'm always surprised when things um, work the right way they're supposed to. <laughs> Does that make sense? I, I just, I think that I just get so excited because... <clears throat> I get so excited, number one, because I get to do what I love every single day. And number two, because when something that I design comes to life and it works, there's nothing that excites me more in this world. <laughs> there really isn't anything in this world that excites me more. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that so cool? I can't wait till you guys see what it looks like when it's all, when it's all dry. Nine days ago. Okay, Roberta. Now you're just showing off. <laughs> now you're just showing off. Um, I'm hoping that ours is filed like within the next two weeks. It's just crazy because of the business. There's just so much to do. Um, and of course, I'm sure Tracy can can attest to that. <laughs> the whole business side is, is even crazier. Oh my goodness, look at that. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. All right, so now I want to do more. Okay, and I still have to go to, you know where I have to go tonight. You know where I got to go. Oh, the Aqua Pigment of the Month is called Rhubarb. It's Rhubarb. Yeah, I'm, we're, I just, I send the QuickBooks over and that's, um, that's all she wrote. <laughs> they do everything through QuickBooks. Yes, I am going to Wally World. I have to get one of those things, and I don't know if Michael's still here, but I'm, um, I have to get one of those contraptions that the extension cord comes from the ceiling. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like a pulley. Oh, you were shocked. I know. It was, I was surprised too at how quickly, because like my mom did hers and she got hers real quick, and I was like, oh my goodness. So I'm going to get this like pulley thing 
for Michael tomorrow. And, the, and I also need to get um, some painter's tape. I cannot forget. I'm going to see if I can find some low-tack painter's tape. Because I'll tell you right now. My goodness. We had this painter's tape that literally... It was like some sort of crazy suction. All right, so now on these ones, I'm gonna mix two glitter glazes together. I know, be still your heart, everyone. And I'm gonna use Sky. Because I think mixing glitter glazes is a lot of fun. And I'll show you guys this board tomorrow. So Michael and I will be up on a ladder tomorrow. Yellow frog tape, I'm in. I love a good suggestion. I'm in, consider it done. I mean, I need it to still have some tack, but I need it to not be like super tacky. Cause whenever we do the laser, we um, put tape on everything. Um, no Jerry, but they have, they were just released from customs. So I have the update. They were just released some from Customs, so hopefully they'll be here um, midweek next week. Oh, they would. That's actually why I designed them, Marina. They're designed to be layered. Um, it needs to be something a little bit thicker, Polly. A little bit thicker. Okay, so now let's do... Um... Let's do the bunny, because we can't do the eggs one right now. I mean, we could do the grass for the eggs right now. But that's about it. So we'll do the bunny and tulip. And I can't wait for those markers to come in, because I can't wait to teach you guys that class. I think I told you guys, I've probably told you guys a million times, but I'm obsessed with that class. It's my favorite class to teach. My absolute favorite class to teach. And I've taught that one quite a few times. I know you're super busy this time. Oh, sorry, Tracy. I didn't see your question. We did not. That's tomorrow. I'm so glad you did all the question marks. We're probably going to have to start doing questions in all caps. Because I miss them. <gasps> Look at that little bunny rabbit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, masking tape would probably be too high tack too. Sorry, Tracy. Um, the paper, The purple tape will work. But we use, I mean, we just went through, I think it was like 600 feet in two days of the blue tape. So it needs to be something that we get, that we can get a lot of. <laughs> yes, Tracy, I would love if you guys would do a road trip. That would be so fun. And then we'll do this one. I'm going to do just, oh, they would be great for that. Yeah, I know, Polly, but again, the problem is it's just so, um, like, we use so much of it that it's it would be hard for us to, um, hard for us to do that every time. That's what I usually do with my cricket mats. Okay, so there are the eggs. That's okay, Polly. I love suggestions. Yeah, they won't. Um, it's not, we just used too much of it. I'd be wrapped up in that tape for weeks. All right, so there's what the eggs look like. And we'll do the grass tomorrow. 
the yellow duct tape. Is that what it's called, Gyps? Okay, is it like in the painting section, Gyps? Or are you gonna have me on a wild goose chase? Yellow frog, I'm in. I cannot wait until these dry. Oh yeah, Robin, that will be great. And thank you to everyone that's been placing orders tonight. My goodness. Oh, absolutely, Carrie. Oh my goodness. Louis Sana, you are on a roll tonight. <laughs> uh, Stevie, I will tell you that um, it's funny because Courtney, pretty much the entire staff at this point, other than me, because I um, don't see the orders anymore like I used to. Literally, I can say like, I cannot even say your full name. I can just say like a part of one of our customers' names, and they go, oh, yes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and they know all about you guys, which is great. It's really, really fun. They definitely, they know all of you guys, which is really cool. That was something I wanted to do instill in them. Um, I know, right? Sometimes... Sometimes Courtney gets a little overzealous whenever she's packing. Sometimes, but it's it's a whole team effort. Some it depends. But what's really really fun is um, we are going to be um, we are going to be um, me Heather and myself Heather and Michael will be packing your orders. Oh no, I lied. Myself, or Michael and Heather will be packing your orders while me, myself, Courtney, and Lisa are at Create. So, good night, Stevie. Um, I know, I'm so, I'm so lucky to have them. Um, um, Polly, you can, but you just want to be careful because it can bubble if it gets too hot. So, yeah, old school. Heather and Michael will be filling orders, so that's, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're looking to get a Heather card, um, there's uh, we're going to start doing the, the face cards again. So I don't know if they still, I don't know if they still do that or not. Do you guys still get faces? Yeah, we really, really, really appreciate you guys. And I hope I tell you guys that enough, but I really, really... Really, really appreciate you guys. Really, really do. Okie dokie. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll get the Courtney card most often because Courtney does most of the orders. And just a heads up, if you are on the website and you are... Um, it's, it could be your, your cart might be a little bit slow right now um, because the, um, the, um, there are so many of you waiting to check out. So thank you all so very much. Yeah, because Heather does, Heather does your guys, does the, the inspiration team's orders. Um, so if it is slow, uh, just stick with us. We appreciate you sticking with us. It will, um, it, it can be, it can take a little bit when there's a ton of people on the website. So thank you also for, for being so patient. Thank you also for um, hanging out with me tonight. Really, 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 really appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. And again, thank you for being so good to one another. Um, thank you for being a part of my life. Remember to always, always, always create something every single day, whether that is, and I'm going to zoom out so we can see the full magic of everything, 
whether that is something with your brand new spring products that so many of you picked up tonight. I'm so excited to see what you create with all of these goodies. I love these new woodcuts and I think you will too. I cannot wait to show you guys the box on Friday. You guys might pass out because I know I'm going to pass out. Again, just as a heads up, if you want one of the inspiration boxes, I'm going to say this every day until Friday, just because I want to make sure that you guys are have a full, full heads up about our inspiration box. So the inspiration box is in severe danger right now of selling out. It's in um, LSS, which we call its low stock status. Um, so just as a heads up, if you like bunnies, if you like blossoms, if you like anything, um, it, it, it's, I mean, I don't even know how to explain to you how incredible this inspiration box is that's coming up. I want you guys to know that if it sells out before Friday, I am still going to show the box would. But I want to preface this and say that if you do not get the box before Friday and it does sell out, I am sorry. <laughs> I apologize right now in advance because I can tell you right now, this box is going to sell out and I can't stop it from selling out. There are only 10 boxes left right now. The new website will launch on Friday. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It is beautiful. It's everything I've wanted for the website to be. There are 10 left, Gyps. 10. So 12 of them are gone since yesterday. So just... Um, but in Australia, so it costs almost double and shipping on top is so high. I know. It's hard. It's hard. But we do have an Australian... Um, who is our Australian stockist, Heather? Heather knows who our Australian... Um, we have someone that stocks our products in Australia. Good, Aliza. Enjoy, uh, uh, Aliza, is it is it Eliza or Aliza? I know I'm probably not saying it right. Listen, I just figured out how to say Louisana, and we and she's been on our team for like three months. Um, no, the box is um, the once the boxes are gone, the bo Gailey O'Connor. Yes, she carries our stuff in Australia. Um, once the boxes are gone, they are gone. Now, with that being said, we do sell things that are in the box separately. So, um, we do sell things separately inside of the box, but just the stamp set alone that's in this box is $23.99. Just the stamp set alone. So, just a heads up, the stamp set alone is $23.99, so don't say I didn't tell you. Um, and this stamp set to everyone is, um, let's see, um, Luisana is still here and Heather's still here and who else on my team is still here? I think a couple of you are still here. The, the comments are really, really delayed tonight. Um, how much do you guys love the stamp set that's in this box coming up? I am so, oh, Brain is still here. If you guys could tell anyone what they need to get. <laughs> Did you do a what we were getting in the box reveal? Um, no, Carrie, I'm doing that Friday. This stamp set that is in this box, it's the first time we've ever included an entire scene in a stamp set. We've never done this before. Um, Chuck Carson, who is our designer... Um, or our illustrator, he, he's the pencil to my mind. I say that all the time. Um, oh, I know. I wish I could say, you guys could say what's in there. Um, but when you guys, first of all, oh my goodness gracious, this, he pulled out all the stops. I mean, he literally took what was in my mind. Do you hear Benson scratching on the door? Like, like no one will pay attention to him. Um, he literally... I can't, not yet, Jerry. I'll show you on Friday. <laughs> I will share you on Friday. But as a member of the Inspiration Box or any of our subscription products, this is very important, so listen very closely, you get 15% off every single day. And just so you know, we are going to be, um, Benson's other father is upstairs and he can go hang out with him while daddy is working. <laughs> That's, I, I said that so I could tell him. 
<laughs> Did you hear me saying that to, directly to him? Um, yes, the inspiration team will get the stamps this time, Luisana. Hold on, let me get Benson. Benson, all of your friends, all of your friends, just say, come here, Baba. Come here, come on, come on, hi, hi. Why are you such a wild man? Why are you such a wild man? Okay, he's in. Is everybody happy? <laughs> Is everybody happy? Okay, let me, here. I'm gonna put them on the camera. Ready? Can you see him? <laughs> oh my goodness, he was a nervous wreck. <laughs> There's Benny, the little Shih Tzu. <laughs> there he is. And now he's sitting in my arms because he's the most spoiled little spoiled. The most spoiled in the whole world. There he is. Little Benson James, little handsome Bubba. Um, so anyway, so yes, hold on, let me put him down. Here, Benson. I kind of want to get a bed made for him. But like, have you ever seen how they have beds that are like desk level so he can sit right here? Do you hear him causing a ruckus? He is like a teddy bear, but he needs. he's getting his hair cut on Saturday. Thank God. Goodness, he is getting his hair cut on Saturday because he looks like a wild man. Um, but anyway, so just as a heads up, um, the boxes very well might sell out by Friday. I'm not sure if they will or not because I'm not sending out the email. Um, we probably won't get a chance to send out an email this time because of how little of them there are left. Um, because we do have a ton of full year subscribers still. Um, which is a lot of fun. Hi, Angel. Oh my goodness gracious. I haven't seen you in forever. How are you, my friend? He does look just like an Ewok. He literally is like an Ewok that, I mean, I think that, I mean, I know that Benson is only seven, but um, he, I think that they might have done the Ewoks off of him. He looks like Chewbacca is who he looks like right now. He's a spinning image of Chewbacca. I'm so glad you subscribed too, Tina. I hope you're doing well, Angel. I haven't seen you in forever. He is a wild man. And, oh, good, and awesome. Oh, well, thank you, Robin. No, that's the best part. Now you can just buy one box. You do not have to subscribe. Now, I can tell you, and this is between me, you, and... um. Michael, because Michael says this to me all the time to remind you guys, if you subscribe, you will never miss a box. That's the thing. If you don't subscribe, you might miss a box. Because I can tell you what happens. If we have any boxes left on Friday, when I go live with the box, there's not going to be a single box left. Between when I go live and the next day, there's not going to be a single box left. And I can promise you in this box, this box is the most stuffed box that we've had all year. Literally all year. And I know it's only March, but I promise you, we have a lot of really cool things coming. So, I have a female cat that stares at me while I craft, so I bought a dog bed in first. I just want to get one that, like, is up right next to my desk. Oh, good, Angel. I've missed you. I was just talking to Heather the other day. I said, oh, my goodness, we haven't seen Angel in the live in forever. I hope everything's okay. We were just talking about it. Yeah, you'll see Heather, and Heather can tell you so many stories, as soon as the box sells out, and I mean literally within seconds of the box selling out, the calls start coming in. And Heather will come into my office and she's like, do we have any more boxes? I'm like, nope, they're sold out. And then she'll go to Michael and she'll say, Michael, can we make any more boxes? <laughs> and I'm like, nope. You sure can, Robin. If you subscribe, you can waive without cancellation. You can skip a month all the time. Oh, good, Heidi. Well, I yeah, you're going to have to watch back to the beginning because we're just wrapping up. Awesome, Gyps. Look at Gyps. Gyps is, 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 since she's not, she's pandemonium, she's an incognito. Um, so what? how do we find out what's in the box or after... They are handed out. Um, you find out what's in the box. Generally, it's posted on the website on the first. 
Um, but this one we have held back because there are some extra surprises in this box. So um, I cannot, we can't reveal it yet because there's a whole bunch of extra surprises in this box. So that's why, Benson James, get down. Thank you. Um, he's, you should see him right now. He's literally, um, oh my goodness, Donna, what did you get? What did you get? Well, yeah, Roberta, the thing is we have been upping the amount of boxes we do 25% every single month. Um, and this month, actually, the, um, oh, that's an announcement I have to make to everybody. Okay. So, the stencil of the month has grown triple size again. Okay? Triple. It's tripled again. So, just so everybody knows. <laughs> just so everyone knows. What is going to happen is if you receive your inspiration box or if you receive your products, um, your subscription products, and the stencil of the month is not in there, we have um, ordered more of the stencil material and we are supposed to, um, we'll watch what we put, oh, didn't get your chroma glaze. Um, so um, if your stencil does not come in your box or if your stencil they are coming back in stock soon, probably next week, Sabrina. Um, if you have not gotten your stencil yet, we have. I have made the executive decision, and I hope you guys agree with my decision, to send out all of your other subscription products without the stencil. We are waiting for stencil material to come in. Um, it's not supposed to arrive because we ordered a giant shipment of it. It's supposed to ship to us on the 20th of this month. So... What that means is if you have not gotten your stencil, don't worry. We are going to send you your stencil, and I'm going to send you an extra little goodie because you have to wait. But we had no control this month over how fast the stencil sold. And not only did the stencil sell super fast, we sold... Oh, no, he's... Don't you worry. He's running around behind me. Come here, Benson James. Um, come here, Bubba. Come here. So... Um, we are going to be sending out the, um, other inspiration products or the other, um, I have them on my lap now. Oh, please look at his paw. Hold on. Do you see what's on his paw? <laughs> Do you see what's on his paw? <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is you're going to get the other subscriptions. I didn't want to, um... I didn't want to have you guys have to wait, but I wanted to make sure that you guys got your other items. Again, I apologize sincerely, but I promise, you know, it will all work out in the end. But the problem is the stencils, we have sold three, we sold three times this month what we even did last month. And last month was three times. So I want to make sure that you guys don't have to wait. I am not going to, um, I made the executive decision to make sure that you guys um, were still getting your products. I told Courtney today. So we are going to pay the additional shipping, because it's our fault, to get the stencil out to you separately. And like I said, you're going to get a little gift from me because of having to wait. So I hope that's okay for all of you guys. Um, I hope that that, is, um, that was a good decision, but I didn't want you guys to have to wait. So your inspiration boxes will still ship out to you. Okay. So I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm what you can't see my hands because I'm holding Benson. Um, I'll just put one hand out. Hello. I'm still here. It's not frozen. Um, thank you all so much for Benson's looking at me right now. Like, who are you talking to dad? Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Um, remember to create something every day, whether that is something with your new spring items or your own ending. I know, they are a craze. Thank you all so, so much for being a part of my life. I love you all more than you will ever know. Be good to one another. I know you guys will. We are all that we have. Thank you for being a part of this crafty family. Thank you all so much for your orders tonight. We oh so, so, so appreciate you. You are such a huge part of our lives, and you let us do what we love every single day. And I'm the luckiest, luckiest guy in the world. I love you guys to pieces. I will see you guys so very soon. I will see you tomorrow. I'm so excited for tomorrow because we are going to be talking about the brand spanking new 
um, Aqua Pigment of the Month. I lost my train of thought. Thank you so 